Hi everybody, this is Rob Meyer. Uh, try, I'm going to show you how to add a activity calendar, the one on our schools, the school webpage, to your Google Calendar so that you can get the notifications and stay updated with uh, your own personal Google Calendar, either on your laptop, or, uh, your desktop, or on your phone. Uh, the process has changed, that's why we're putting in a new video. So if you follow this process, it's a little more complex than last year, but uh, nothing that everybody can't handle. So the first thing we want to do to get the calendar added is go to the home page of Osage Schools. And you can see in the left-hand side here, the online activity calendar shows up. And go ahead and select that. Now from here, uh, the Osage calendar comes up. And you can always go to this page to see the latest updates and changes. But what uh, the difference is this year is that uh, you can no longer just add all events. You have to select the events that you want to add. So for our, ch our choices here, we want to look at view schedules. And we need to select everything that you want to see. So if I have, say, a 7th and 8th grader who might be in vocal, I want to select that. I have a 9th and 12th grader in band. Uh, I want to add, uh, I've got a, a varsity football player, and I've got a junior high football player. I need to select each and every one of those. Don't select the one that just says football. That's a general one. You want to go to the ones that actually list the level that your student is playing at. I'm also going to go down and let's pick up, uh, say, the, the volleyball. I have a varsity volleyball player as well. And then I'm going to hit the view button so that I can see this schedule. Now, once the schedule pops up, you can see that the schedules are there. It lists the opponent locations. But we really want to add this to our calendar rather than going to multiple pages like this. So I need to go to the right-hand side of the screen and select the subscribe button. Now, we're going to get a bunch of menu screens, uh, but it, it, it's actually a pretty easy process. So once we're over here and that comes up, we want to go down to the Google and add it to the Google Calendar. So go ahead and click that icon there. And it brings up a page with some instructions. What you really need to do is just highlight and then copy this URL right here. So now that I've copied it, I can close these screens down. And we can go back to our Google Calendar. And we can add these in. Um, so what I'm going to do then is go down to other calendars down here at the bottom. And I'm going to hit that arrow. And I'm going to add by URL. And then I'm simply going to paste that long URL into there and hit Add Calendar. And as you can see, that we now have a blue calendar coming in. And it added all the events that uh, I selected. So I have varsity football on the 28th, volleyball on the 27th. We've got marching band on the 12th. Now, one of the things we can do is uh, that name is a little cumbersome. So we can go to calendar settings. And instead of just North Iowa Conference, we can call it, uh, we can change it to, say, school activities. And uh, go ahead and hit the Save button. And you'll notice that the name will change down here. And it does put it in alphabetical. So we have school activity. But I also notice that my personal uh, calendar is blue, and so is the school activity. So I want to change that. I'm going to hit that. I'm going to change it over to, say, bright red. And you can see now that the activity calendar changes to bright red as well. I hope this helps. Uh, it's a fairly straightforward process. If you have any questions or need some help getting this done, go ahead and give me a call at the school, 732-5381. Thanks, and have a great season.